Hello YouTube viewers, I'm Gizzing F1 here with another tutorial to show you how to um, basically for the people that are new with um, Windows and what this program does, it um, backups your hard drives and system operators and also it'll it'll partially um, backup like like parts of your hard drive and um, this program is really user friendly and it's called the um, OME data backupper. Now what it now it does everything that I told you it's really simple really friendly user um, and I highly recommend it for the people that are new with Windows um, it's uh, they also give a freeware <coughs> excuse me um, what also another thing is that um, that they that they also sell this program and other other things for more stuff but um, but just itself the freeware is, is pretty useful um, it's for the people that don't like to back up their hard drives manually and, and just likes likes to have a program do their things um, for them. Now, I want to do a little small tutorial on this program itself, uh, just to show you on how it works, and we'll get started. Now, um, this um, backupper is really simple to use. It um, it, it just when you start it up, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's, it gives you everything that you need. Um, it gives you the home tab, the backup tab, the restore tab, clone tab, and utilities. Now um, I'll go really pretty fast to make sure this uh, is a pretty simple tutorial so you can see. Now um, when you go on the backup tab, uh, you could actually choose to choose the whole disk backup or just a part of the disk backup or just make a uh, system backup. Now uh, the difference between these is that the disk backup, uh, when you click on it, you choose one full disk. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you choose one full disk like uh, C drive and D drive. Now um, I have two disks here. Um, the H drive is my external hard drive, and this one and this one right here, the disk zero, is the main drive where I run everything, where the c computer processor runs and everything. Now um, for this, I'm not going to be running this disk backup. What I'm going to be doing is uh, partial backup. Um, it partially just chooses not not the whole disk but only a certain disk and for this tutorial we'll just back up the D drive but we'll get back to that in a second now and the system backup is where you um, choose the whole system like the C drive or the whole system itself and put them into a backup now uh, the restore the restore is like system restore well it is a system restore um, <coughs> excuse me it's where you do your backup first after creating the backup it'll create a system restore and then um, after following days and you edit some stuff from the from the um, from the from the file or disk that you've made and something goes wrong and you need to do you need to do a system restore it's just simple just go back to here to the enemy dead backup backup excuse me and hit restore choose the date and then just follow on along and it'll put the the file or disk to uh, to the date that you put, um, made the backup you can also make a clone to make the exact copy of it uh, disk to disk uh, and it has uh, three more utilities which normally we don't really use but um, <coughs> they are pretty useful now we'll just uh, start with the tutorial now with the partial backup now what partial backup does is as I told you no backup so for this tutorial we'll just backup the D drive since basically I just have a couple of pictures and I just want to back, up, uh, back them up and just click on add and let's see it's pretty simple and for if you want to add more just click here add or just delete it's pretty simple uh, let's go to step two you choose oh well, let's see okay that one can't click it <coughs> sorry now uh, I'm gonna do it my H drive since this, this is my backup um, drive so I'll just create a uh, folder and I usually like to name my backups by the date that I created them We'll just put it 2 4 2013 there we go uh, another sweet thing is that it has backup options you can create uh, comments for it uh, for your backups uh, compression and encryption like passwords you can split the size of the backup I'm not really sure what this is for neither with the VSS um, <coughs> But uh, another thing for the compression, I really don't recommend that you put, don't put none since it is a backup. So you want to decrease the size, but neither not too much decrease the size because you want to have it just a moderate compressed size um, as is. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just hit start backup. 
and uh, this should be pretty fast since this is uh, a small size file pure pictures so I'll be right back when um, it's done backing up and I'll see you guys later okay now that it's done and I'm, I think it's pretty sure it's finishing up I think it's finishing up is it okay now it's done um, you just hit finish after that um, it'll right here it'll go back to home tab and it'll say there your recent backup now this one I deleted a long time ago so it doesn't exist but um this is the most recent one now I forgot to rename what I told you um you can actually rename your your backup right here where it says task name but um I forgot to say that so let's just see what else we can do uh advanced let's see you can delete the back backup we'll just delete this one since I don't have this one anymore uh you can check image explore image locate image and properties uh, basically when it says image uh, what it is is that uh, it's like a compressed file like a WinRAR file or a zip file uh, it's an ISO file basically uh, you can check the file or explore the file or look at the file that's in other words instead of file they use image the properties um, general okay pretty simple it's pretty pretty much simple stuff here uh, let's see backup full backup okay and as I told you, you could create a restore. Just click on on the backup that you want to choose, and um, let's see. Just make sure that we did create the backup. So let's go to H drive and date, and here it is. The backup folder saves it saves it as an .adi. Interesting. All right, and then you just hit, uh, if you want to back it up uh, to the date, then just say t just restore it like three minutes ago. Just hit next click the drive where you want to restore it, just hit next and then um, the file uh, the disk that you wanted, you wanted to restore just hit next and yeah okay well I'll read the one to continue this since I really don't need the back to, to be backed up <laughs> uh, but as of now uh, I'll just leave it as is so if you have guys have any questions about this uh, program feel free to put it down in the description below uh, I may not be able to answer all your guys questions but um, but another thing is that you can also go to the YouTube channel which is um, let me search it up real quick here a here we go you can go to their YouTube channel which I'll also put on the description below and um, they pretty much have more tutorials on this um, if you guys want more tutorials, um, you can either go here or ask me, and I'll try to make some more. Uh, let's see, and they also have their own um, website right here. So it's pretty much it. Uh, you can also buy it, but I really recommend you try the freeware first. It's really good, and um, really don't see in any way buying it. But but the freeware itself, it's really good. Um, highly recommend it, and. If there's any more questions, comments, anything that you like to uh, say about this video, please put it down in the description below and I'll be glad to help. If not, um, I could always contact AOMI to support you and, uh, and answer all your questions. Well, thank you very much for watching this tutorial and video and have a nice day.